Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I'm back again with some more made to order and custom wallets. We're gonna start off here first with a really beautiful customized Bugs Moran. And this wallet was made in a very special leather. This leather is called 1940s calfskin. It's actually leather that was tanned by Horween Leather Company in 1941 and they've never been able to reproduce exactly the same article. These calfskins have just been sitting there at the tannery for all these years and they're starting to sell them off. We're actually running pretty low on the availability for this leather, but we do have some left. And let's look at this Bugs Moran a little bit more closely. You might notice the exterior quick access card slot on the outside. I like this option a lot because obviously it gives quick access to cards in a similar way that the Joe Batters and the Capone Money Clip offer that. And then we have the traditional card layout on the inside. This wallet has a natural waxed and burnished edge. And we actually have two more wallets in this beautiful 1940s calfskin. Now this long wallet here has been personalized for SLR and thank you so much SLR. I can't wait for you to have this beautiful piece. Take a look at this extra large context of that 1940s calf and I'll try to spin it around. It has a nice shine to it. Definitely has a nice luster but also these striations in the grain. Those little bits of lines sort of going back and forth. They are flat and even, but there is a little bit of visual texture. And that's why I love a long wallet because it's our largest pattern piece and you can really showcase some of that random variation in the leather. And let's take a look at the inside where we have more of the 1940s calfskin and a cream color stitching. And one last 1940s calfskin piece. This looks similar to our Fat Herbie design with the exterior bill slot, but this one is our traveler passport holder where we have one compartment on the inside right that will accommodate a passport. I was noticing on the outside just how beautiful the grain is. I really love that random texture in the grain. And let me spin this one around just to get a quick last look at it and document this piece because this is a really magical piece of that 1940s calf. Love these little lines going all over the place. This one has been personalized. Let's keep it going here with our most popular wallet style. This is the Johnny the Fox wallet. You can see green shell cordovan on the outside. I'll spin this one around as well because there is a very nice depth of color to the green shells. At some angles, a little bit darker like this. And then if I were to flip it around, it appears a little bit lighter more vibrant of a shade at that angle. There's a directionality of the fibers in the shell, which is why this is occurring in a similar way to a suede having a nap that faces one way or another. It's on a microscopic level for the shell cordovan. This one's really special with that contrasting cream color stitching along the outside. And then on the interior, we have some English tan Dublin to pair with that. And we also have natural waxed and burnished edges on this Johnny the Fox. And I have one more Johnny the Fox look at. This is a good example of that dark color range I was talking about. Sometimes in the green and on the blue, there are darker shell variants that we can choose for you. And this is the darker blue color that Horween makes. It's called Intense Blue Shell Cordovan. It's more of like a navy blue, especially when compared to denim blue shell cordovan, which is a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more of an aqua blue. Now this intense blue shell here is complemented with a contrasting cream color stitching along the outside. And on the inside, we also have intense blue shell cordovan. And I think that this contrasting stitch does a nice job of showcasing that intense blue shell cordovan. We also have this middle piece flipped around backwards to show off part of the Horween Shell Cordovan ink stamp. So that means on the bill slot, we've got the shell here where normally it's flipped around the other direction. And I've got a three-shot card case. This is a special piece here, brand new leather that has not yet been released. This is a leather from Horween called Yellowstone. And what's really special about this is very obviously the texture. Now this is a natural shrunken texture on a bison skin. And bison skins tend to be a little bit more dramatic in the texture, especially when it is shrunken. There's a couple other extra special things about the Yellowstone here from Horween. Again, to be released soon, we should be doing an event in the next couple of months. But this one is a vegetable tanned leather with that natural shrink which gives it great aging characteristics. The other thing that's really special is this has been hand tipped. So you get a really beautiful depth of color. You'll notice that the valleys of this blue Yellowstone are a little bit more of like an electric blue color where the peaks and the tips of that texture are a little bit darker, a little bit more of like a navy blue on the surface. So great depth of color. I had been wearing this Fat Herbie in that same blue Yellowstone for a few months, really enjoyed it. Super tough leather also, so it tends to not scuff and scratch very easily. 
And then of course, I think the real reason to get it is just that beautiful natural shrunken texture. I have a couple smaller pieces to look at, more minimalist styles. This is a machine gun jack in black shell cordovan. This one has a snap closure on the right side. And the machine gun jack, if you're not familiar with it, we don't offer this as a normal item on our website. It will fit credit cards. That's what it was designed for. And if you wanna carry cash in this piece, you need to fold it into thirds. It won't fit cash very, very easily. So we're more envisioning this piece as a card holder for a front pocket. Couple more minimalist pieces. This is a really nice five slot Frank the Enforcer in marbled black shell cordovan, it looks like, and maybe some marbled color eight on the back, which is very interesting. I love this creativity that our customers have. So on the front here, marbled black shell on top of black shell cordovan. You can see the range of color in the marbled black. Sometimes they are a little bit more green and very rarely we get these little bits more of like reddish sort of orangey tan shades in the marbled black, but often they're a little bit more green. And on the back side of the five slot Frank here, this is marbled color number eight shell cordovan. You can see more of those burgundy shades throughout the color range here. And then we have color number eight shell cordovan on the top. And this is our standard Frank the Enforcer. Unlike the five slot, which has two card slots on the back, this one has a thumb notch single card holder on the backside. It's also been personalized. And thank you so much, PAI. Can't wait for you to have this piece. This is violet shell cordovan on the front and on the back. We also have a matching violet hand stained edge which is perfect. And that's something that we do a little bit differently than most places. We're actually matching the same exact die mix that the tannery uses on the shells. We're using those same dies on the edges. So it gives it a perfectly cleaned up look. And we have one Capone money clip in the batch going out today. Still need to put the hardware in this guy. This is denim blue shell cordovan that we were talking about earlier. And let's compare the denim blue shell versus the intense blue on the left. You can immediately see the difference of the colors. Denim blue is a little bit more of a straight up blue. Intense blue, a little darker, a little bit more of a navy version. What I love about this one is it has been hand stitched with a white thread. So oftentimes we do the hand stitching with a cream color thread, which is like slightly more yellow, but there's something amazing about the white hand stitching on this piece that really makes that denim blue pop. Let's take a look at some more wallets, tons of great stuff. And this is a Tony the Ant in whiskey shell cordovan, a little bit more of a rare shell cordovan color then tannery doesn't often produce this shade. If you were to compare the whiskey shell cordovan to a natural shell cordovan, you'll notice that the whiskey shell cordovan is darker and it's a little bit more golden, a little bit more yellow tones in the whiskey shell. Now this piece here seems to be on the darker range of what I normally see whiskey to be. And it's very, very nice. This one has also been personalized. If you're not familiar with the Tony the Ant, this is a similar style, like aesthetically to the Fat Herbie with the exterior bill slot with a thumb notch, but it's a little bit shrunken down, made smaller. And we have four card holders on the inside. They are stacked in twos on the left and right. This one has a great Horween shell cord of an ink stamp cut into the center. And then we have a natural waxed and burnished edge. Up next is a really crazy piece. This is super cool, psychedelic shell cord of an. Now this is sort of a high risk, high reward thing for our customers because we don't let you see what the psychedelic shells look like until we uh, put it on the videos here or uh, surprise you with it in the mail. But that's because the psychedelic shells are very, very random and we need to pick the correct spots in the shells that are appropriate for something like a vertical bugs here. And what I mean by that is sometimes the leathers range in thickness. Maybe there's like a little cut or a scratch or a scuff that we don't wanna get your hopes up with letting you pick the exact spot. Uh, for that reason, we make it a little bit more challenging, a, a little bit more um, surprising for you to <laughs> receive something in the mail. And this one turned out great. So we've got that really nice violet shade with some reddish tones in there, a little bit of green and orange, really cool uh, psychedelic shell cordovan. And it's reminding me that I need to call Skip Horween to uh, have him make some more of this because I, I just love the look of it. This one's also hand stitched with a matching thread. On the inside, we have some reverse ultraviolet shell cordovan on top of marbled blue shell cordovan and then violet shell cordovan on the top. And here's another cool Bugs Moran. This is not the vertical Bugs Moran. We have the traditional card layouts on this piece with epic splatter reverse black shell cordovan. So in the same way that the marbled black shell cordovan can often be a green shade, the reverse side of the black shell cordovan is often this green shade. And what you're seeing here on the back of this Bugs Moran is a really good representation of the range of color that we see in the reverse black. And sometimes it can be much darker, a little bit more forest green, like you're seeing in some sections on this piece. And other times it can be a little bit lighter and more pale, like you see right here. And then this piece has epic splatter, which is not something that we can prescribe the tannery to make. 
they sort of just get randomly sent to us uh, like this, and we like to cut them into wallets, just like this bugs we're in whenever we can. On the inside, we also have more epic splatter. There's something magical about this bugs we're in. I really love the splattered effect on this piece. And we had somebody custom order a shell cordovan belt. And if you're curious, if you put in an order for a natural shell cordovan belt, we have started work on the natural shell belt. So give us a few weeks here. It's actually quite a time consuming to craft these shell belts, but we are working on them and they will be coming soon. They're looking great already. Now this was the first shell cordovan color belt that we released. This is color number four shell cordovan. It's one of my favorite shell colors. In fact, this is my second favorite shell cordovan color. I really like the amaretto and color number four. Color four is a medium brown with reddish undertones. That's uh, much lighter than color eight. I think it's just a little bit more unique than color eight. The color number eight is more frequently produced by the tannery. You often see it more frequently in footwear where the color four shell doesn't seem to be used just as much. So this is a size 38. You can see that size has been stamped under the back of the belt. This is a two layer belt. So we have shell cordovan on the top and this is a horse hide strip on the back side, So there is grain on this side and shell on this side. What's really special about this is the story. Now the tannery Horween Leather was originally started making razor strops, which utilize these same exact two pieces of leather. And those razor strops were used to hone and sharpen straight razors. So they would sharpen their razor on the strip side and then hone and refine that edge on the shell side. And let me show you the adjustment holes on our belts. We have seven holes and they are all teardrop shapes we try to size them to the middle holes. So this one being sized uh, 38, should be 38 inches from the pin of the buckle to the center hole. Two more wallets to look at, they're really, really nice. This is a green shell cordovan fat herbie, and I believe this is emerald green shell cordovan. There's also dark green and then another color called green. I find the emerald green to have the best vibrance to it in the same way that the denim blue shell cordovan is a little bit more of a vibrant aqua blue. I think the emerald green shell gives you more of a green essence as opposed to dark green, which can sometimes appear a little bit black. So this is a great looking fat Herbie. We have the matching hand stained edges and then emerald green shell cordovan on the inside with a great Horween ink stamp cut right into the center. And the last wallet of the day, Derby Deerskin. And we did some runs of these little pre-orders on these before. I'm not sure how much of the deerskin we have left, but I think we do have some. So if you're looking for a deerskin wallet, we can still do that for you. The deerskin was a trial run that Horween did a few years ago. In fact, I think I was still working there when they made these and they've just had this leather sitting around. It's not something that they're going to do again. They weren't sure if the hides would work for them or if the source of hides was going to be consistent. And it turns out that it's not. They're just not going to proceed making any deerskins which is kind of a bummer because of how nicely this derby deerskin has turned out. Now this leather is thinner and softer than most of the shell cordovan and steer hides that we use for most of our wallets, but I think it works perfectly for a fat herbie. You can see it still has a bit of stand. It's not very floppy at all, but it does have a softer temper to it. The other interesting thing is the derby leather is sort of like the Dublin. And the only difference between Dublin and Derby is that Derby is tumbled Dublin. So let me back this up a slide a bit. I'm realizing it's a little bit confusing. Horween makes a leather called Essex, which is steer hide, deer skin, or horse hides tanned using the same tree barks as Shell Cordovan. If they finish the Essex with oil, that product still remains the name of Essex. If they choose to instead use wax instead of the oil, that leather is now called Dublin. And then if you tumble that Dublin, it turns into Derby. It gives you a little bit more of a broken up effect in terms of both the color and the luster, but also on the deerskin here, you get these really interesting tumble patterns that are completely random. And I think it's really beautiful. Love the derby deerskin. And on the inside, we have more of that derby deerskin, a little bit of a larger piece here to accommodate that passport on the inside, right? This is our traveler passport holder. And before I forget, if you were interested in the blue Yellowstone, we do have some of this leather and I'm starting to accept some orders. So if this is something that interests you, you are welcome to now place pre-orders or made to order custom wallets using this leather. I will tell you it's a little bit more expensive than most of our other stuff. The price difference on a fat Herbie, for example, if you were to make an English 10 Dublin Herbie, it's 135 bucks, but the Yellowstone, we have to add 15 to that. So it'd be 150. And the reason being is this natural shrink really reduces the yield in the skin. And you might imagine that a shrunken leather gets a little bit smaller. That should be obvious. 
Well, the tannery sells the leather based on the square footage. So by shrinking the leather, they're actually increasing the cost, which is kind of a bummer, but the result here is undeniably cool. I love the brand new Yellowstone. Hopefully we'll have a standard release on these coming soon. If you have any questions about custom orders, please don't hesitate to leave a comment here. Or if you're ready to spec something out, you can send an email to my brother, Matt. The email address is info at ashlandleather.com. Just let him know what your dream wallet might be. And then we can give you a quote on that. Usually made to order stuff is taking about four to six weeks right now. So thanks again for checking out the video. And until next time, hope you have a good one.